Hi, welcome to Numerics Video Blog. I'm your host, Jim Jockel. Joining to me today, Tom Davis, uh, PhD from the Client Solutions Group. Greetings, Tom. How are you? Good, thanks. Thanks for having me, Jim. How's the weather in Vancouver? It's sunny today. First day in months. <laughs> Excellent. Sunny all around here on the East Coast as well. Cheapest to deliver and the valuation process. Big question uh, lately around with the buy side. Uh, especially given changes in the, mar in the market. But one of the key questions that keeps coming back is really managing the cheapest to deliver uh, and building these curves as part of the valuation process. Why is this so important? Well, the buy side, their core competency on the buy side is obviously uh, managing portfolios for specific needs such as wealth uh, accumulation or capital preservation. Now, one thing they don't, their core competency isn't in is complex processes managing uh, collaterals, and they're not going to be able to scale that up. But it is really important, especially since 2008, when we saw the, the move towards multi-curve pricing. That was really driven by collateral requirements. And it's important for the buy side for, for two reasons. One is a P&L, so how it, the, the trade affects your portfolio, as well as risk management. If you are over collateralized, if you're not at your optimal collateral level, you can actually get the trade to be turned around and the risk profile is not what you actually think it is or thought it was when you put the trade on. Second of all, in terms of how it fits into your portfolio, um, if you have a trade that requires a lot of collateral postings daily or weekly and a lot, a lot of these transactions will, will cost you a bit of money, for the instances if you have the outsourced third-party vendor solution for your collateral management, they sometimes trade or sorry, price per volume in terms of matter, collateral and margin postings. So if you have a trade that has a lot of uh, margin calls, uh, you can actually it can reduce the economic viability of that trade and reduce what your, your goals have been to provide the solution to your clients. So one of the questions I think back to uh, one of the uh, webinars that Anna Barbashova did earlier, she suggested the concept that cheapest to deliver, though, isn't always optimal. And we're talking about something that's very specific to the curve. So building curves into the valuation process, yet how are those curves should be, how should that be interpreted, uh, especially when thinking about the broader co uh, collateral management process? So in terms of, if you look at the, the cheapest to deliver curve, what that really gives you is a snapshot of the market today and what it looks like you should be posting for collateral through the lifetime of your trade. And when she says that that's not optimal, it's really, the, the story is a bit more complex in that the, the collateral posting, the cheapest on a daily basis, can actually be um, trade dependent and also market, uh, depends on market movements. So really, the, the full solution, you'd have to build up a collateral management system that daily you look at the markets, and then in the future, in order to see what you're going to put on in that, that given trade, you need to know all the counterparty information, what, the whole netting set with your, your different counterparties, as well as the correlation of the collateral securities you're able to post with the trade itself. So that's why on the buy side, it's, it's, it's a complex operation that they're not in the position for most of the buy side firms to scale up that operation. So they look to solutions and third party vendors to do that. Um, the cheapest to deliver though is a, is a good piece of information that tells you over the lifetime of your book what uh, you're, you're likely to post in terms of the currencies and the securities that you have on hand. Well Tom, thank you so much for the clarification. I appreciate the time today. Uh, follow Tom on Twitter, join him on LinkedIn as well as uh, uh, Numerics on, on Twitter at nxanalytics.com Let's get your feedback as well. Let's hear you on the blog and uh, and and reach out to us because we want your opinion. Tom, thank you so much and enjoy your sunny Vancouver day. My pleasure, and uh, we'll see you on the channel again next time. Thank you.